Last yeah. week was fellatio, this week cunnilingus. F- f- what? Cunnilingus. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, talking about pleasuring you ladies, <laughs> all right? Today we're talking about oral sex for her, Ooh. okay? That sounded so creepy. It did. Oh my gosh. I'm you like, see, no matter what I do. Well, hello and welcome back to Fridays with Dave and Ashley. You're watching the XO Marriage YouTube channel where you get real marriage advice from real people. And we are continuing in part two of our oral sex conversation. And today we're talking about oral sex for her. Okay, so if you have not listened to the one about oral sex for him, go back and listen to that one. And then you can listen to this one. Or I mean, or you can listen to this one first and definitely go listen to the other one. So last week was fellatio, this week cunnilingus. What? I've never heard this word. What? What? I've heard fellatio, but I'm not. What's it called? Cunnilingus. You're going to have to spell that one. I've not even heard Um, that before. Our amazing editor, Cam, will spell it right now. Kind of lingus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, anyway, last week we awkwardly, I, don't I know. awkwardly stumbled no, through talking no, no, about. No. You were not awkward. Well, there's just phrases that I think make people, including yeah, us, yeah. like, oh gosh, can I say that? And we didn't. We, yeah. we, we showed a lot of restraint. Uh, at first, I was doing a lot of awkward things with my hands. And then finally, yes. you know, I sat on them and, and I stopped making. Uh, You're just, he's just very expressive. Inadvertent, obscene gestures. <laughs> Because I'm expressive. So Today, ladies. we're going to continue the awkwardness. Talking about pleasuring you ladies. All right? <laughs> that sounded so creepy. It okay. did. Oh, my gosh. I'm you like, see, sweetie. no matter what I do it, okay. with this particular conversation, and you naughty people are here for it. That's why you're still watching. That's oh why you haven't goodness. clicked off this video yet. I don't know where it's going either. So stick around for the climax. That's hey, right. Oh, my goodness. You know. Wow. All right. Well, we've talked about this before in some previous videos and how when it comes to women, and sex, the clitoris, which um, fun again, word. fun word uh, that you don't hear it on, on a lot of YouTube videos, but that is where the most nerves are and in a woman's kind of genitalia area. And, you know, <laughs> I love hearing you talk about this. So you, what you're saying is usually a wife doesn't want her husband to get on her nerves. But when oh, it yes. comes to this cluster of nerves, husbands get on, get on those nerves. nerves. So I saw that like in a meme and I thought that was hilarious. So yeah. anyway, yeah, get on those nerves. But I know in, in talking with ladies like who are open to oral sex, again, I think that you have to be comfortable with it first. Like the woman has to be comfortable with it and the man. So you have to talk about these things. Some reasons that some women are uncomfortable, maybe they feel like no matter what they do, it's kind of stinky or... You you know, when we talked about Lumi, like that could be maybe a good solution, which is like a, a deodorant for the lady bits. And um, that's what they say. Deodorant for the lady bits. Okay. Um, nether regions. And you could do that so you have less, uh, you know, feeling, I don't know, funky about that. And also, I think that some women, they don't know as far as like the grooming, if, if their husband would be turned off by how things are groomed down there. And like if their husband wants them to be, have a full Brazilian wax, they're not sure if they are comfortable going to do that. And so there's just a lot of reasons. And then for men, you know, maybe they're just like grossed out by it. Just like a woman might be grossed out by having oral sex, you know, with their husband. And, and that is something, again, you have to talk about. I mean, what is it? Is it the texture? Is it the fluids? Is it the smells? Like, what is it, you know? talk about those things. The women who do allow their their spouse uh, to perform oral sex on them, they do believe that that act really does stimulate the clitoris. So even if you don't, you know, bring your wife to climax, I do think just like we talked about in the previous video, that oral sex might be a good like appetizer, so to speak, to intercourse to where you both can climax together because you're really stimulating that area on a woman. Granted, you could do this, you know, with your hand, just like we talked about with men, you could do that, stimulate the man with, with, with your hand as well. So there's other ways to do this or maybe to ease into oral sex. But I think the main thing is in order for you both to enjoy it, you both have to feel comfortable with it and be on the same page. Nobody needs to feel coerced. Nobody, you know, there doesn't need to be any kind of manipulation um, trying to make the other feel bad if they're not willing and vice versa. If maybe guys, you're uncomfortable with how to do it, you feel inadequate. You're like, I don't know what I'm doing down there, how to feel good. There's a book that's a huge bestseller. I've read a lot of the reviews on it. The reviews are very specific from both men and women saying, wow, this really works. I don't think it's written from a Christian perspective. I think it's just very like anatomical. Right, right. Um, But the book is called She Comes First. Yes, Which is very specific and um, 
leaves little to the imagination, but it is... It's not pictures. Well, not like porn is what no, I'm No, no, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not porn. Never, no, like, it's not pornography, no, but yeah. I think they have like diagrams and all kinds of different... Right, Like to just yes. very specifically help you identify... Like the zones, like the, there's the zones. erogenous zones, where the nerves are, like where to put pressure, where, you know, where and how to do it. And if you feel like that's what's holding you back is inadequacy about technique... Technique. Mm-hmm. Technique, technique. That could be a resource. Having read through like the synopsis and the reviews, it seems like it could bring a lot of confidence in that area. I think that'd be Re- great because education is a good thing, you it know. Is. And you do want to make sure. I mean, just do your research, like Dave was saying. Like read the reviews, kind of see. You don't want to walk into creating a porn habit or something. Like you don't want a pornographic book. So you got to be real careful with those different resources. But I will say this: there are a lot of women that write us, a lot of wives that write us, and say that they've never actually had an orgasm. And this just even and saying that out loud makes their husband feel really inadequate. But really what I want you guys to understand and in the research we've done is that it's not necessarily that the husband's doing something wrong or that he's, you know, just missing it completely. A lot of it is kind of how your parts are formed and, and how maybe they're not quite getting to the, it's often referred to as like the G spot. And, um, and I think that stimulating the clitoris through oral sex or even just with your hands, that can often lead to that happening more because for a woman, it just takes more more to get us going. And so I think that maybe just that in and of itself would lead someone like women, if you are like, well, I really would love my husband to do this, but he's not quite on board yet. Maybe you can explain it to him that way. Put your comments down below. Keep them relatively clean, guys. Yes. Um, <laughs> I know there's there's an inner middle schooler in all of us that just wants to... Well, anyway, yeah. you guys know. Communication is what really leads to real intimacy. Not just sexual intimacy, but intimacy on all levels. So talk about this, you know? Yeah. Laugh about this. Talk about it. Ask each other questions. And it could lead to you both learning some new things. We love you. We appreciate you. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.